Welcome back to our little gear corner here. I'm Torn with Servicide, and today I'm going to just be going over some miscellaneous things that I keep in my pack. Uh, I guess we'll just start from one end and uh, work our way down the other. We'll just start here. But uh, for whitetail hunting, uh, especially like my backpack whitetail hunting, I'm always going to have a grunt tube. You never know when you're going to need it. Uh, this is just one of the, the flex tones. I really love the sound of this with the uh, the rubber tube. You can get some of those more mature uh, uh, sounds out of it. And uh, I found it to work really well for me. Um, it has a little snort wheeze feature that I actually never use. But there's that, pretty plain and simple. Next is going to be your bow rope. I mean, this is just your standard has a hook on each end, 30 foot bow rope. Some crackers that have been left in my pack for uh, who knows how long. Now, here's where we're gonna kinda get into some of the important stuff, I feel anyway. I always take an Archer's uh, Allen key set in case I need to do any work in the field on my bow. Um, that has burned me in the past where I didn't have one of these, especially if I'm gonna go do a three, four day backpack white toe hunt. Um, I always make sure I have one of those. This is uh, basically Velcro. It has uh, the stickiness on the back with the cover on it. So I can cut this out with a knife if there's some type of noise. Maybe my arrow's hitting my shelf, something like that. I can cut a little sliver out of that. You never know when this comes in handy. Uh, and it usually always does. I have a little package of that there. Uh, Next is moleskin. I always have this in my bag. Anytime you get blisters, they're the littlest things, but they can absolutely ruin a hunt and they can ruin a hunt fast. So I got a couple tabs of moleskin in there. Uh, next is going to be my Windicator. So we did the webinar yesterday and one of the questions brought up was, why do you use milkweed and not the powder? So. The reason that everybody uses milkweed or the people that at least use it is because when you pull out milkweed and you drop it, you can watch this go as far as you can see it. Whereas with the powder, all you're doing is basically just seeing the wind direction literally right in front of you. So as that milkweed drifts away, the, the thermals or the wind may be doing something totally different 60 yards away. So that uh, potential setup there could work or could not work depending on what the wind direction is doing a little bit farther away. Uh, so there's that. This is basically um, just, it's not basically, it is serving string. I use this to just tie in knocking points or anything that I might have issues with. Uh, if your peep sight comes, gets caught on a branch or something and you need to tie in a, your, your peep, something stupid like that. Uh, I have a little bit of that, just in case. My range finder, uh, this is the Vortex 1800, uh, pretty solid range finder. I've, I've been happy with it so far. So for when I'm uh, hunting on private land, I have a saw in case I need to cut any shooting lanes, things like that. Uh, this is the Hui Man, and then this is the little five foot extender. Um, hooks up like that. I'm sure everybody's seen something like that before. And then I carry two different easy hangers. One's for my pack and then one's for my bow. So this little one is going to be the one for my bow. And then that will go in uh, on private land on the tree like that on the left side. And then this one will go on the right side where I'm hanging uh, my, tr my pack and then I'll just swing it on the back side of the tree. Uh, it also, this one's also sweet because it has these little clips here, uh, hooks, in case I need to hang anything else there, like a, a set of rattling antlers, maybe my grunt tube, stuff like that. Next is going to be my headlamp. This is a Fenix uh, HL60R. This is a rechargeable headlamp. Uh, it has four settings on it for brightness mode and then a red mode. Uh, but I was really worried about going to a rechargeable uh, headlamp. I'm like, well, what if I forget uh, about charging it? The thing that's sweet is 
you always have to drive to your spot, right? Well, you plug it in, it's a, a micro USB, you plug it in while you're driving there, or you, you're taking a, a, a cell phone pack with you, uh, a chargeable, rechargeable uh, battery pack, and I just charge it up on that. I've actually found out that I have not gone without light using the rechargeable more than when I had a battery headlamp because I'd forget batteries or I'd forget to put new batteries back in my pack, that kind of stuff. So I am, for me, I'm a big fan of the uh, rechargeable headlamp. And I found that that Fenix works really, really well. Uh, we'll cover this real quick. This is my water bottle. This is a Sawyer water bottle. Uh, it filters, I think, up to almost a million gallons. The thing that you got to be really careful with this is that these filters, uh, if they freeze, they're worthless. So if it's going to be a, a cold weekend or uh, a cold week where I'm backpack hunting, I will throw this in my sleeping bag and I will make sure that the water doesn't freeze and then the hoses in with a filter do not freeze so that this stays operational. If this freezes, all it is is a Nalgene at that point. And then lastly is my kill kit. So in a little Ziploc baggie, I have zip ties, my hunting license, a pen, and my Havilon knife. I also keep a fixed blade in there. Uh, if anything ever happens to my Havilon or I need to do some uh, larger work. And then I have extra blades for my Havilon. And that is pretty much everything that I keep as far as my kill kit. Uh, if you guys have any questions on any of this stuff or want to kind of just talk and bounce some ideas off of maybe what I'm missing in my pack or uh, you want some advice on maybe something that you should throw into your pack, uh, shoot me an email, torrentservicesite.com or hit us up in the DM.